What's going on guys and for the win here we are back with our franchise mode as the Seattle Vikings We're picking up where we left off here getting towards the trade deadline considered making uh, some kind of a move here and uh, I think I have one in mind. There's actually someone out there who hits the block, has one year left, and would vastly improve our defense. And uh, I'll show you guys that in a second here. But I'm going to run a <laughs> run something by you guys because I'm really struggling. I'm really struggling trying to uh, figure out what the hell I'm going to do for 10K subscribers because it's fast approaching. Like I'm, there's like Last time I checked, there's 25 left. I just checked again. There's only like four, 16 more till I hit 10,000. So... Uh, if you guys have any ideas what you, you want to see me do, like a Q&A again, like we did when I hit 5,000 or, or what, but, uh, I definitely want to do something special for you guys and I, I will be cutting my hair off. So maybe I'll make a video, um, of that too. <laughs> if I can, if I can decide a way to make it kind of entertaining in some way, instead of just getting my fucking haircut, but, um, you know, stuff like that. All right. So just wanted to throw that out there. If you guys had any ideas, cause I'm kind of, I don't know. i like, you guys are I, nothing I think of sounds good enough. Like, you guys have been nothing but amazing in the support that you've given me. Especially, especially, like, this whole past, like, ah, like, just the whole time. But especially in these past few months. Um, when NHL was supposed to be dead, our Islander series was getting, you know, two to 3,000 views per video in the first, you know, over 20 episodes. That was actually insane. Like, Oh, uh, and you know, the first episode of this one is already over 20,000 views and it's only been a couple weeks. Like this is the highest, highest amount of traffic I've had on my channel. And it's, and it's just, it's crazy guys. It's, it feels great. It feels good, man. When you, when you, when you put so much work and effort into something and you really start to see it pay dividends and then also you get a little bit of fucking, you know, scratch back coming the other way. That helps a lot too. You can start working, you know, stop working real jobs so much. And, uh, you know, focus a little bit more over time on this. And that's that's the goal here. And so I just wanted to thank you guys a lot for all your support for this series, the Pia Pro series, for NHL 18, everything. And if you're new here, I appreciate you checking me out. And because I know it's, you know, mate, you have your favorite channel out there. You have your go-to channels. And to, you know, to take to break that cycle, take a chance on someone else, like, it's it's big. It's And I, and I appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you guys very, very much. And, uh, well... Here's who I'm thinking of, P.K. Subban. <laughs> we know he's uh, around 90 overall. We have everything pretty much scouted. He's got one year left, and he's on the block, 9 mil. Now, it doesn't put us over the cap, as you can see, and we, we don't even need him to retain. And we'll have plenty of value to give up for this guy. Plenty of value to give up for him. Mostly in the goalies. <laughs> All right, so 52 at 19. I think this guy goes in, no question. 52 at 19, in my opinion, just isn't good enough. I'll hold on to the starter, though, because this guy could be a very, very serviceable backup. 61 at 18 is really good. Um, 19 at 54, Adamski might be going in there. Warner, I'm holding on to. Ward, I'm definitely holding on to. 65 at 19, that's solid. Nicola, I'm holding on to. So I think Burns goes in there, and maybe Adamski. This guy, Grand Pierre, is only 18. So we'll still have yet another elite to throw in there. We could throw in one of our elite enforcers, but I might be tarred and feathered in the streets after if I did something like that. So it might have to be two of these elite uh, goaltenders. The two lower guys who are 19 in the 50s still. I don't think Adamski's grown too much. Um, you know, let me check the growth here. Before I do that, I know Burns I know Burns for sure is going to go. But let me check on that those progress reports one more time just to see if anyone, if I don't want to trade him or if he maybe just turned or something. I don't know. Wish you could check birthdays. <laughs> That'd be helpful. Maybe you can. Maybe I'm just dumb. Always a possibility. Okay, so... Adamski has grown. Grand Pierre has grown. Burns has grown. All of them have grown, really. Besides the French. <laughs> Don't do that, you dick! Oh, God. Now he's 19, too. Oh, man. Well, I'll still hold on to the franchise because he is a franchise, but... So, actually, all the goalies have grown. Domsky's actually grown quite a bit. I mean, she start, started pretty low overall. They've all grown a decent chunk. Yeah, they all have, man. Well, that's rough. Well, I have to make a choice. I mean, you have so many elites. Does it really matter? Not really. I guess I can go with a younger guy, which is Grand Pierre, and he's growing at the same rate the other guys are. So Then we'll still have Ward, too. So <laughs> we'll, have two, we'll still have two elite goalies, plus the two we already have. I don't know why I'm trying to min-max this much. It's just kind of... I. 
I've never had this many elite goalies before, so I'm like, oh, I'm thinking I gotta pick and you know be careful with who I pick and choose in there, but not so much. Okay, so I do think we're gonna go for this. I think this. I couldn't really think of anything on the offensive side to to grab besides, well, nothing besides maybe some kind of a fourth liner, and I might still do that, but other than that, I couldn't really think of anything. So it's gonna be Burns and Adamski. Two of the older guys who are lower overall. We'll hold on to Grand Pierre. We'll hold on to Ward. And we still have Warner, McCola, and the franchise Lynch. Who hasn't grown, which is a little unfortunate. So that should go through. And this, you know, this team could use those guys. Oh, they do have an elite goaltender, but hey, we'll help them out a lot. They're both on the block, but they might say same guy for a single roll. That could be a thing. Yeah, that might happen. And I was thinking about getting a goaltender in case we had an injury. You know what I mean? Just like an in-case goaltender in case we have an injury. But, you know, maybe Warner steps in and is incredible. We're still, I don't know. I don't want to sit Warner. I could. I don't necessarily want to. I'm a little scared about that. But, whatever. So, I think we'll probably make this trade straight up. Um... I know I could get back more, but let's just try to make this semi-realistic. Two, you know, really high-touted goalie prospects for P.K. Subban. You know, a guy that they're looking to trade anyway. They're not having a good year. They need a new goaltender coming up. They have... They want to get rid of Forsberg, too, but I can't really... Hopefully, they trade him. I, I can't take him. I don't have a spot for him. Yeah, but they're, they're selling the farm here. They're trying to get as much back as possible. And we're giving them two elite goaltender prospects, which will give them... A lot in the, in the coming years here. Oh, this is a rookie, yeah. Rookie elite guy. That's it for him, really, isn't it? Yeah, they need to draft. They need to draft pretty heavy there. And they don't really have any picks. Did we take them? <laughs> Not too sure. Anyway, let's just... I think we should just make this go through. I could probably get a bit more back, but I'm going to make this go through. All right, so yeah, we'd have to move down Pete, it's saying. No, wait, Why? All right, well, I, do I get to choose who I move, move down? Yeah, it's a really good deal for you. Congrats. Yep, multiple morale changes. We traded for a star player. You better not have got moved down. No, he didn't. It's just... Why was it saying he'd have to get moved down? That doesn't make much sense. That doesn't make any sense at all. All right, let's go to... Okay, and yeah, I need to actually send someone down. Hold on. Yeah, we got eight guys here. I'll send down Clayson, because I don't really care about him. Yeah, I was, I was actually going to put him in the deal when I was thinking about it. And then I just, I didn't, obviously. Um, yeah, we can send him down. Because we have the, I would rather have the extra forward. So now, Portuzo might be scratched. But I could, you know, I could, I'm, I'm going to send Pete back down, I think. I could do that instead. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to send Pete back down. It kind of sucks. But I don't think he's quite ready. He's been okay, but I don't know that he's quite ready for the playoffs. I could use him as depth, but I, yeah, I'm actually torn on this. I don't know if I should send down Pete or keep him, or send down, or, yeah, because I, because if, if I keep him, he's he's gonna be depth. I'm not, I'm not sitting at home. I'm not really gonna sit Bortuzzo. I'm gonna, I want to keep my righty lefty thing going on. Besides, obviously, Subban's a righty, but him and Carlson. Carlson would be on the one-time side. Carlson takes a lot of shots. I think that'll benefit us. Subban's just a pure rental. We're not going to re-sign him. This guy's a pure rental. Uh, so, yeah. That's what's going on with that. So, Ekholm's going to be on with Bortuzzo. Pete's either going to have to sit or get sent down. I'd rather have him play, so I'm going to send him down. Yeah, it's... Team being over the salary cap. What? I'm sending someone down. My house. Oh, don't. It's is this glitch still a fucking thing in this game? What is the issue here? I can't send this guy down either. It's gonna auto fix my freaking roster. Why can't I send this guy down? I'm just saying I'd have to send him down anyway. Back. Let me just back. What are they gonna do to my roster here? It's gonna fuck with my lines. Whatever, dude. Just fix it. I don't give a shit. What do you, like, 
What did it do here? I want to see what it did. It sent him down anyway. Like, what? Like, exactly what was going to happen. That doesn't make any sense, dude. Like, I, that, I was literally trying to send him down. Why wouldn't it let me send him down? Did my every all the lines get fucked up? Yeah, all the... Oh, my God. All my lines got screwed up now because of that. So, yay. Gotta figure this out now. Okay, well, that was annoying, but it's them's the brakes, I guess. <laughs> Ugh, that's, why would it, I, I still don't understand why it made me auto-fix my roster. I was literally trying to put down the guy that they said I had to put down. That's what I did. I tried to send him down. It's like, no, your team will be oversaturated. So that glitch is, that's been a glitch since 2017. I don't know why I, 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 well, now I can at least tell them about it. You know what? Fine. I'm going to use some of this footage here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Now that we've got that all out of the way, I don't think I'm going to make that trade for the uh, fourth liner. I think I want to roll with how my fourth line is and give him a shot. So I think we're all good, man. We're all good. Let's sim up here and finish off the year there's a lot of games holy hell how many double headers one two three four five one two th yeah f five five six no sorry no that's the same five double headers in this last stretch here that's not cool man that is not cool now i'm kind of regretting that i didn't get that back up i can get him still warner's gonna have to step up huge here well let let's see how the kid does Let's see how the kid does. Watch Grubauer get injured now. And then I'll really hate myself. Whatever. Okay. Here we go. Suban. Suban should help. If his Suban doesn't freaking help, then what the hell? Alright, someone's going to offer us a trade. Or the game's going to crash. Either way. One of the two. Nope. Pro scouts on the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Zach Trotman. Two years left. No. Uh, Markov. You want Markov for and a fourth for a four and a five. Doesn't seem like a good deal at all. I could trade that guy for crap ton of picks if I want to. And I'm so I'm holding on to most of my unsigned guys right now because I will need to sign some things. I'm not going to get a bunch of excess picks, although I could. At least this year. I think I might. If I want to trade for some picks, I'll trade some at the draft. I want to make it a bit more challenging after the <laughs> last year's draft. <laughs> oh, Kirsch has been injured with an injured neck. Estimated return March 14th. Replace player. He should be back pretty quick. Okay, so we lost the game. Came back with two wins. Won the game against Anaheim. Won the game against Colorado. There we go. That's what I'm liking to see. Uh, the Rangers are horrible. Khrushchev's fully healed. Let's put him back in there. Right there. I don't know if the aces are uh, going to get anywhere. At least McCole is grown now. 70. And now he's listed as a minor backup. At 72, he's a minor starter. And at 74, he's a minor backup. Hmm. 76, Warner's a backup. 77, he's a minor starter. Hmm. Something tells me it's a little fishy. No, no, no. None of this has up at all, see? Man. All right. Well, oh, that's a tough loss. We get a point out of it, but it's a tough loss. Central Scouting has released their rapport. Okay. Uh -huh. This guy's jumped up to first, and we've had him listed at, well, don't know. Labrie's seeing that. But yeah, that guy, Wheel. We thought, we knew it. We knew it from the beginning. We knew he was going to drop down. Look at my scout, Stumple. What a beast. This guy's a gem. Hello. Oh my god, he is a gem. Jesus, Chubasov, you beast. Sniper, listed to go around 153. Medium elite. Yeah, that's, that's for sure a steal. A gem, I should say. He's only played four games. Oh, he's faced A-plus competition. Good character, good work ethic, good compete level. Weak on the skating, though. Should be able to get better than that. Uh, should be able to develop that. Very passionate person. Gets gets emotional at times. I don't care. Driven to win. You gotta have a little bit of emotion. Alright, so I'm excited about getting that guy. We should be able to snag him. Alright, couple of low elites now. One in the second. One in the seventh defenseman he's a righty we're getting this guy for sure we got a righty defenseman hype hey, he's a two-way defenseman nice i don't care i don't care about his mobility he's a righty he's a righty he's a for sure thing okay so looking like some good things coming up in this draft that we should be able to get still all right we lose that game but we've been on a tear since we made this trade 
So I'm okay with it. Another win right there. I think this trade helped us. <laughs> I mean, you put Subban on your team. He even as a rental. It's going to catapult you. How can it not? Another loss right there. So that's three losses in a row. We got points out of two of them. So two points of a possible six. That's not great. Brendan Jang, that was a minor injury. I didn't have to replace him. Don't don't try to fool me game. All right, let's get back with a win here. Bortuzzo's been injured with a mild concussion April 4th. That's a bit, that's a bit of time he'll be missing. So we got to put Clayson in there now. And he'll have to play his oppo side, but that's okay. All right, there's a shutout win, and then another win. So we bounce right back. We could have a 50-win season here if we play it right. Bortuzzo's fully healed. I like it. Just a minor concussion. I still feel like they <laughs> that's not long enough for even a minor concussion. <laughs> like, it's only like a game, dude. Puts him right back out there. There you go. Treating him like Sidney Crosby over here. Just get out there. You'll be fine. There we go. Another shutout win. Another win in the shootout. Come on, guys. Just two more dubs. Uh-oh. Lost right there. And I think they just won because I saw their record change. Yes, they did. So we're not going to get... Well, we lost our last three games of the season. Obviously, not going to get 50 wins. We got over 20 reg losses. I didn't want to see that. I wanted to get 50 without that. But hey, it's still success. 48, 21, and 13. And we're taking on Anelheim in the first round. All right. Revenge time, baby. We got to get revenge in this one. Got to do it. All right, so, of course, I forgot to see you, oh my, oh my god, oh, sorry, I thought 85 was points, that's his overall, 73 points, let our team in points, Garbovtsev, I don't, I didn't think that was going to happen, I think someone guessed him, though, almost positive someone guessed him, but whatever, so yeah, we won our division, 109 points, Anelheim at 90, wow, what a weak-ass conference, very close wild card race though but 90 points that seems low for wild card maybe it's just me yeah well compared to these guys <laughs> jesus all the points are in the east yeah it, it does seem a little bit low and it is all right so goals for per game 2.26 goals or sorry 3.26 goals against was 2.65 not bad but could be better 23.6 on the power play penalty kill 72.4 i don't know I use best lines for it, and not even best lines can fix our penalty kill. So, hey, what do we do? I might just keep him out there. Give Subban and Carlson all that ice time. Can't get... Eight. I mean, it can't get worse, can it? Might. It might. Might be able to get worse. All right, well, that was that. Let's check out our team here. You know, not too bad. Even though we didn't have any point in game guys, Karpovtsev... I hope he's he's not a rookie, is he? I really wish you. I think he played too many games last year to be a rookie. He's not. That sucks. Man. Yeah, he played too many games last year. That really sucks, man. Because <laughs> what a fucking steal this guy's turning out to be. Drafted him late first. I mean, not even much of a steal. It's just I'm glad that a Red Elite grew like this. 73 points. Letter team. Only 80 games played. Panarin, 72 points. On the second line for most of the time. Panarin just seems like way better on the second line. Boyle, 30 goals, 71 points. That's great. He's sure a bit of an off year, but I'm not too mad at him. He still had 60-plus points, 40-plus assists, 20 goals. Can't be mad at that. Couture, 60 points, 20 goals. Heinrich, rookie season, 26 goals, 55 points. That's solid. Plus 20 as well. Very solid. Fast. He had 16 points on the power play with five of those being goals, 45 points total. Nash had a bit of a production there in the power play for the short amount of time he was on it, six points. 40 points total. Shore actually had 32 points and wasn't even. So that fourth line definitely improved. Nason's minus. Yeah, look at that fourth line. Pocket, Kruger. Look at their plus minus now. I'm glad I didn't make a change because they've been killing it. Sure, our team's been doing a lot better, but they're, they, they, they have a part in that. Every line is important. So good. Glad to see that. Eric Carlson, 67 points. So it didn't quite hit 70 like I wanted, but 67. Let our team. Subban, I forget what points he had when I brought him in. Uh, hopefully someone will see that and then tell me how many points he got in the remainder and what his plus minus was. Thanks. Appreciate you guys. That's your job. So all you guys want in those staff positions. Now's your chance. Now's your chance to earn them. Now's your chance to earn them. All right. Colin Miller had a decent amount of points. Nothing on the power play for the whole time being on there. Muzzin had a couple. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, Clayson minus two in seven games played. Ekholm. 
Yeah, everyone's doing pretty good. Now Ekholm's with Bortuzzo. I'm, I'm, I'm predicting these guys will be fantastic. We still... Oh, this is the last year on that amazing Ekholm deal. Which reminds me, I should do some extensions here. I think... I think I might want to keep Ekholm around. I, I'm not going to be able to afford Subban. So, I'm, he's a pure rental. He really is. I, I'm not going to be able to afford him. I'm going to go with... I'm going to keep rolling with Carlson. I'm really not going to be able to afford... Sue man, I don't think. And we're gonna just gonna home grow our other guys. I can I can probably keep back home around for another couple years. Muzzin too, we've got him for another year after this. Miller, we've got him for yeah, two years as well. Bortuzzo is two years as well. Wow, okay. Most of our guy are in two years. Alright, goaltenders, Groove Hour, you know what? He didn't do bad. That's not a bad year. And Warner, all things considered, that's not a bad year either as a backup. Uh 19 games played, he had 22 uh five yeah 25 points in 19 games played this is a great performance out of Mc out of warner great performance he's only 22 the, the his stats are decent and he got six more points than i wanted out of him so perfect and plus he got a shutout grew out right eight shutouts wow good for you he's just grew is just a solid starter for us i can't wait till we have an elite and that is hopefully coming soon with warner making his way up and also mc uh whichever one gets it we'll see They've been kind of leapfrogging each other all year. But uh, Heinrich might have a shot at that Calder, 55 points. I mean, depending on what the other rookie class this year looks like, that might be enough. Uh, before we check the everything, let's check the AHL. Briz Galov, I'm liking what this guy's looking like. A power forward, and look at his offensive stats. Oof. He's got a good, some good defense to him. Oh, man. What's his discipline? 86. Good. That's a high discipline with a lot of aggressiveness and hitting. This guy's going to be a powerhouse. He's 21 now, only 76 still, but third line maybe. And he's going to be a beast on the third line, maybe power play point guy. There's Krebs there, 58 points. More of the assist guy, he's now 80 overall, but still listed as depth. Next year he'll be NHL ready, no question. And his offensive stats are out of this world, 91 and 85, really good. Uh, Nilsson, that guy's nothing. Uh, Jang, pretty good, 45 points. That guy's really nothing. Low, 40 points on that point. Not bad. And did you grow 76 still at 22? This guy it's going to be very, very tight if he makes it into the top four. I don't know that he will. But I'm holding on to him. Full Patty, not too bad. Okay. Let's just look at the defense here. Uh, Vorbyov was a minus 13. That's not great. And Pete was also a minus before he came here. Well, he's a minus again. Never mind. Uh, Merkley played a bit, mostly on the forward end of things. Yeah, not too good. Mikola, not very good. Sandstrom did incredible as a backup, but Mikola did not do too good. Doesn't seem to sim too well, this guy. He's back to listed as minor backup too, which is interesting. I don't know why that was a thing. Like, maybe it was because we had Hutchinson. Like, maybe that was the reason that the guys were rated higher, but that doesn't really make sense. You think if there were less goalies that were good, they'd be rated higher. I don't know. I really don't know. But, yeah, Nicola didn't have the greatest of years there. But hopefully he learned a lot and grew. That's that's what that's what counts. Oops, I forgot to actually check the NHL. <laughs> you know, before I do that, since I'm already back here, we'll check our own progress reports. And then we'll go back and check out the NHL. So Heinrich is up to an 86 now. Good stuff, Nason. Let's see what his stats are looking like. Passing 86, awareness 91. What a shot. Wow. 94, 93, 94. But 93 is across the board without morale. That's insane. Defensive awareness is now up at 87. This guy's going to be like an all-purpose player. Great skating. And not amazing aggressiveness. But if he wants to throw that body, he can. He's durable, too. Looks good. Good old first overall pick. Still only 19. <laughs> 19. So Couture looks like he lost his stat growth. It's okay, though. Unless that's natural decline. It is natural decline. Interesting. I was going to keep this guy around for another year or so for the centers, but maybe not. Yeah, he's now got top six potential, so yeah, he's definitely declining. I can keep around for maybe another year. Interesting. Uh, Warner did grow a bit, but not that much. Let's see in the system now. Markov. Low top guy. Uh, Koliakovo. Actually, a lot of growth, but not very much, I take it. Yeah. Well... The hell has he not grow? He must have started. Yeah, he guys started low overall, huh? He had to have. Yeah, he had to have started really low overall, probably in the 40s. 
So good growth from him. Uh, Hamus! <laughs> Ezra, the elite enforcer. Oh my goodness. He's getting way up there. Look at that awareness. 75. You know what? He might not actually be bad offensively. <laughs> uh, defensively, well, uh, actually not going to be bad at all. 80 awareness on his defense. His aggressiveness, his fighting skills at 87. Body check is only at 77. Where's his discipline? It's probably going to be horrible. Yeah, 73. <laughs> I think this guy could actually be serviceable. That's the new Tom Wilson right here. <laughs> I really think he's going to be really serviceable. And where here's that Fritz Meyer guy who I didn't sign, right? Yeah, no, I didn't sign him. I pretty sure this guy's unsigned still. And I'll probably keep leaving him unsigned. Nike, oh my goodness, Nikefist jumped up to an 80 wherever he is. Jesus. We're going to have a lot of guys break again to the NHL next year. We're going to have to pick and choose a lot, but luckily we do have guys coming off contract like fast, etc. So this is kind of it almost is like an all-in year for us. So I'm glad I made that big rental play. And then we're 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 gonna it's gonna be a big youth movement next year. Krebs, Nike Fist, Jang, um, Fritz Meyer, even like there's gonna be a lot of guys coming in here and making cases. Pete even will have a more permanent spot. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of competition. Uh, Sophilus grew a lot. He's 70 overall. At only 18. Ward is up to a 67. That's great. Uh, Brizgalov's 76. Still, this is a minor che uh, checker. Interesting. Why you list as a checker? You're good offensively. Well, you saw it defensively, so it's weird. Alos, some guy. Uh, 80 overall. Krebs is now about ready. Milson, the starting goaltender, actually grew quite a bit. Vorobiov's 19. Now it's 75. This guy just. Oh, last year I guess it was a big growth. Did we? I guess we got him at a pretty high overall. Yeah. Peyton Manning grew quite a bit. So, yeah, I think for when it comes to our centers here, we still might need Couture for another year because all our, our prospects just aren't ready. So, I think I will sign Couture for another year, maybe two. Maybe year by year to be safe, but he probably won't like that. So, I might have to give him a two-year extension, which is a bit of a risk for us. We could wait. Yeah, we could also wait and wait for free agency. If we want to get him back, we could also get him back there. But Sim, Kershaw, or well, Kershaw's nothing. But Sim's not going to be ready. Manning, obviously, is not going to be ready. So, the center side of things are still looking a bit weak for us. And our franchise didn't grow. Oh, he's at 55, though, so he did grow. What? He was at 52 last I checked, wasn't he? Or was he always at 55? I don't know. I'm still... Whatever. <laughs> Oh, what the heck? Yeah, Grand Pierre's growth changed, too. He used to be, like, 17 or something like that. Yeah, that must be a glitch, because both these... I'm pretty sure Lynch was a 52 last I checked. Could be wrong, but... Speaking of which, you guys wanted to see what that other franchise was, and I'm pretty sure he was in Carolina, right? Because it was T. Teravinen, and, uh... <laughs> so let me check on him. Okay, maybe it wasn't. Oh. In the system. Yeah, he's a 68 overall, so he's already way up there. He'll be good for him. What's his name? Don't, what's it? What if it is Tavo? Nope, Tommy Teravainen. <laughs> not quite. All right, so last but not least here before we start these playoffs is checking around the NHL and seeing who did what where. There we are. Uh, so John Tavares led the league in points with 101. It's all the Islanders because game. And then every yeah, it's going to be all of them. <laughs> Probably letting goals too. I don't see any. Yeah, Ovechkin was close with 52, but it's all JT. Tampa Bay fans are like, oh, I hope he does that here. All right. Assist leader Kyle, C Kyle Connor. Oh, my God. He's on the Islanders. Oh, my God, that line. I bet it's Tavares, Everly, Connor. Wow, what a filthy line that is. All right, plus minus Jonathan Drewin with 42. Uh, probably Ovi. Yep, Ovechkin taking the most shots still. Shooting percentage. Tavares is those really good. 19.2. That's a very strong shooting percentage. Yeah, wow. That's a crazy good shooting percentage. All right, who's the most clutch here? Uh, Tyler Johnson tied with uh, Pacioretty for 10-game winners. Wow, but Tyler Johnson, only 24 goals. 
Almost half of his goals were game winners. What a beast. All right, power play goal leader, Tarasenko with 18. Power play point leader was Blake Wheeler on the Canadians with 33. All right. Canadians are on the way up, obviously. All right, so takeaway leader, that Haglin guy. But he sure, ooh, he sure, he sure making a case. Making a case to take home that Selkie. He's got better face-off percentage than anyone else up there besides Pavelski. But Pavelski didn't take as many. His plus minus is going to be sky high. I think he sure's about to take home the Selkie. Yeah, plus 28. Yeah, there's no one even coming close. Don't even tell me anyone's going to take this from him. It's all, it's all he sure. All he sure, man. Look at that giveaway takeaway ratio. Plus he hit 144 times. Blocked 16 shots. Wow, Toskala blocked 40 shots from forward. That's actually insane. Yeah, you don't see that. You really rarely ever see it over 20. But 40. That's crazy. Shot blocking isn't nine. Oh my god, his defensive stats. 95, 99, and 99. This guy's just a beast all the way around. Good offensive. Oh my god. What overall? Hold on. He's 92 overall. That's it? Seems like he should be higher with all these stats. Like his aggressiveness and body checking, his strength, his durability. Look at that bullcrap. And then his shot. He's not the strongest of skaters, but he's still capable. And his offensive awareness, his deep. What? It does seem like that guy should be higher than a 92. I don't know why. It just, those stats seem ridiculously high. There's a lot of 99s in there. But I guess they're not the stats that dictate his, yeah, his overall as much. Holy crap. He was the second overall pick in 2019. I guess you can see why. Freaking beast. Jesus, that's just impressive. He fought twice too. What a goddamn, what a beauty. Okay, so, don't oh, fuck you, Dowdy. Get the fuck out. Overrated. Alright, so, it looks like Dowdy, for some reason, got the most points. Well, he was on a trash team, that's why. Look at that plus minus. How do you get 70, 76 points and you're on plus 9? <laughs> so, LA's doing trash right now. Couldn't be happier. Uh, Eric Carlson was close up there, but Drew Dowdy. Surprising everyone. Okay, let's see here. I want to see who might win that Norris there. Should be Carlson. Not as many takeaways, but less giveaways. Uh, played a little bit less minutes. Got a point shorthanded. Not as many power play stuff, obviously, but... Wait, I'm missing all the defensive stats. Hold on. <laughs> uh, blocked more shots, hit more, too. That's still close. They're probably going to give it to Dowdy, but they seem to love plus minus, so I think Carlson might actually win it. He's only three points behind him. Carlson might win that Norris. Because he just looks slightly better overall. Dowdy's just, like, beat one in all the offensive stuff. But look at how many times he gave away the puck. That's a lot more than what Carlson did. Carlson was 50-50 for his giveaway takeaway. You never see that for a defenseman. You never. It's always get more giveaways than takeaways. So very responsible for the puck. I don't know. We'll have to see what the game does. Because it's kind of interesting. Because they seem to favor plus minus a lot. And they shouldn't. <laughs> but anyway. Carlson had himself a good year there, too, up in the uh, top five, so as was Burns, so good job for all of them. Gold senders here. Oh, uh, nope, Bobrovsky, looking like he's taking it for from Raz right there. Let's see. See how close it'll be, though. All right, well, Bobrovsky, uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's, that's kind of clear cut right there. Bobrovsky is kind of better than everyone. Lower goals against, not much lower of a save percentage, like 0 .01, and then it's better than everyone else's anyways. And nine shutouts, more wins than Hellebuck in the same amount of games played. I think that's kind of cut and dry. That's going to be Bobrovsky, definitely. I think that's that's a lot more clear than it was last year. Yeah, a lot more clear. It's he's only the only save percentage he's worse than is Hellebuck, and it's only point zero one yet. His goals, although. For some reason, Hellebuck had less goals against total, but he, Bobrovsky, had the better goals against average. Interesting. Huh. Well, now I'm thinking of a tie. <laughs> Just because of that, but maybe not. I, th I still think it's Bobrovsky there. And these, these races have been very, very close, so I might have to appeal to you guys again. Tie or Bobrovsky or Hellebuck. It's only three more goals allowed. It is goals against is 
.06 better while only sacrificing .01 to a save percentage with five more shutouts, two more wins, all in the same amount of games played. So I still think it's Bobrovsky. That's my eyes. And Rask had more games played with three wins, but he won every single one. But his save percentage is worse. Goals against his worst. Goals against right there is way, way worse. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Bobrovsky, but maybe it's a tie between those two. But no way Hellebuck gets the ultimate victory. It's either a tie between those two or Bobrovsky gets it. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's still tough to call. All right. Anyway. um, Rookies. <gasps> Henrik! Did you do it? Henrik, baby! 26 goals, 29 assists, 55 points. Beat out Jake Bean. Although Jake Bean is his defenseman. They might take that into account and give it to him. But probably not. I don't think the game's smart enough. I think Henrik is going to win his Calder. Last year's first overall pick, winning the Calder. Maybe. Unless there's some crazy... Nope. <laughs> oh, wait. Ingram. How many games played? Only 24. Nope. Pretty sure that uh, Cody Heinrich here, Henrik, whatever, is going to be taking home that Calder. Although, when you think about it, it might... It probably realistically should go to Jake Bean because he's a defenseman. But he's injured. Like that injury, Matt. Holy shit. I think there's just an earthquake. Holy hell. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was weird. I just felt everything kind of shift and shake, and then my house creaked. That was a very weird feeling. Whoa. I like a. Oh my god. You got. Ah! I feel weird now. There's like butterflies going through me. That was an eerie. Okay, well, earthquake just happened. Anyway, let's check out the fun stats now. I almost forgot what I was doing there. Very weird. All right. 174 hits for pure Luke Dubois. That's a lot. <laughs> not as many as you've seen. We've Yeah, that's actually not that much. Never mind. We usually see up to up to close to 200. Yeah, I was thinking back. I'm like, no, it's at like 190. What am I talking about? Holy fuck. Blomdahl and Clifford. Okay, Clifford's not on the Kings anymore, so that's good. But who is this guy? An elite 2A forward, of course. It's always the elite 2A forward. His fighting skills at 69, so he's the punching bag. Lower the fighting EA of 2A forwards. Especially if they're elite. <laughs> God damn. I wish I could edit him. He was drafted third overall. And he's fucking fighting 27 times. Max Domi here. Great. Perfect. Exactly what you want to see on the Kings. Another goon. And Lucci just trash. Alright, so that's a lot of fights. Dodging... <laughs> And they're in the same division, too. So how many times did they fight? Probably every time they met. Maybe multiple times a game. What a joke. <laughs> Dude, we might have the AHL beat out. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of fights there. One, five guys with over 20 fights. One guy with over 30. Jesus. That's, an, that's crazy. <laughs> All right, well... Yeah, I don't think I think our yeah, HL didn't make it to the playoffs. Unfortunate, but that's what happens. Okay, hilarious. Our chemistry is actually down since acquiring Subban. Yeah, that's very interesting. Okay, well, Anaheim, we faced them last year. We got swept. Let's see what we can do against them this year. They don't have as good as Lions, obviously, but they have Michael Backlund. That's pretty solid. They actually do have a good top six. Not incredible, but it's solid. How's their defense? Lindholm, Fowler, Juice... Oh, no, 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 no. Not as good. But they still have Gibby back there. And they got Lungfist as a backup. So, even if Gibby gets injured... They still got Lungfist to come in. They must have traded for him at the deadline. They must have. How many years left does he have? Oh, my God. They're idiots. Good. Anaheim's going to be screwed. All right, well, <laughs> there's that. And I like everything else that I see. Yeah, I think I think we should be able to beat these guys out. I, th I say that, but I think we have a much better chance than we did last year. Our team is much better. Karpovtsev, he sure boil. Now, I c this is, will obviously be subject to change, but I like it. Heinrich, uh, Henrik, god damn, Henrik, Couture, Panarin, Nason, Nash, Fast, Pocket, Crew, Shore. I mean, we're, we're set. We're, we look good. And then we're very deep on the defensive end. Maybe not incredible in the top four, but we're very deep. And we could always mix and match if we want to. We can spread out Subban and Carlson if we want to. We, that's always a possibility, you know? 
have a Carlson and Muzzin back and go Subban Miller or something like that and spread it out like that. And hopefully Grubauer can stay solid in there because we'll need him. We'll really need him. All right, here we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing we are doing before. I had I had mixed things. Some people wanted all real-time back. Other people wanted me to keep it the way I've been doing. So I'm going to make a judgment call and do what I think is going to be better. And this, this. It keeps the pace of the series going. We don't have to suffer as much cheese. And uh, because we, we, we remember what happened with the real-time sim. It was god-awful. And if you don't remember, go back and specifically watch the uh, Minnesota Wild franchise from last year. It was it was horrible. Any any franchise before that, the Vegas one too. It was just ridiculous. The the real time sim in this game, just cheese, cheese as hell. Even 2017, there were some cheese moments. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so game one here, we have the whole mass advantage now against Anaheim. Let's take it to them, baby. Game one, win two nothing shutout. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Game two, still on whole mice. Let's do it. Oh, my goodness. We get blown out 7-1. Hopefully, we kept our composure. But that was a big answer game for Anaheim. Let's go back into their building. Game 3. Win 2-1 to one in the overtime. All right. We haven't been scoring too much. I'd like that to change. But we're able to keep the puck out of net. If we could do that, we're looking good. Game 4 here. Win 2-1. to one. We're winning close games. But I'm not liking our goals for. I want it to be more. But it is Gibson back there. So, hey. All right. So, one more win's all we need, man. Game five could give it to us. Let's win it in five, baby. Let's win it in five. We lose. Okay. Now game six will be on their ice. This could be dangerous if they force a game seven. That's a real-time sim. Still not scoring enough. We haven't got more than two goals in a single game. We have No, I'm going to change it right now because we're not scoring enough. I'd rather change it now than change it to when it gets dangerous. Okay, so first line's actually looking like they're doing well. He's just got four points. Uh, Karpopsev has four. Boyle has three. Panarin has three. They're minuses. Holy crap. N Kutcher only has one point. Henrik has no points. That's not good. Second line struggling. And they're not being good on the defensive end. So I think I'm going to do what I was talking about before. I'm going to split up Carlson and Subban. And try to spread some of the love here. We'll have Subban play on the opposite side because he's got the big ass shot he's got two points he's a minus four though like even how the hell are you guys minuses craziness Dude, everyone's a minus what the fuck and it's because of that one game that seven goal game but still um henrik i'm really not happy about him right now so we're gonna move up fast all right he's not getting the job done he's, he's got to be able to step up in the playoffs so this is a learning curve for him but let's put him on the third line third line hasn't scored at all either so hey can't get much worse. All right, let's try those those line changes out here and see how they do. First line was doing fine. I'm not changing them, but everyone else was kind of struggling. We'll keep Couture in the middle, though, even though he only had one point. It's more than zero. <laughs> All right, come on now. Yes, okay, we win that game 4-2. to two. Okay, we made some changes, got four goals in the game. One of them could have been an empty netter, but still, we got more goals in that game than we did the rest of the series, even though we got wins. So thank you, defense. Thank you, Grubauer, for that one. We made it past the first round here, dealt with our demons from last year, and now we get to face uh, someone in the second round. Oilers. Oh, we should be able to beat them. It's fucking Edmonton. Come on now. But, you know, we got to see what they look like now. Let's see. Karpovtsev continues to kill it. I love it. All right, Edmonton. What do you got for us? Oh, wait. <laughs> Alphabet. There we go. Uh, ooh, Yamamoto, dry saddle. Oh. What? Why is he scratched? Hold on. Something's weird. No, no, no. That can't be right. That that can't be right. I got it. Maybe he just came back from injury or something. Hold on. This 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 is hold on. This EA logic is a bit too much for me right now. Hold on. There's no way. There's no fucking way they haven't just scratched for no reason. I can't see if he's injured. He's got to be injured. Look at what he did, dude. Eight goals and three assists in seven games played. He actually killed it. And I'm a little scared of that. But what the fuck? Hold on. 
There's no way he's just sitting there scratched. If if he is EA, come on. They don't have any injuries. What the fuck? He's just, oh whatever. I don't know. I don't know what else to say about that. But Edmund Connor McDavid sitting there scratched. Maybe he'll be back in before the game starts. I don't know, but that's ridiculous. I'll. T <laughs> okay, game one. We got the whole mess advantage. They won in seven. Uh, we lose 2 nothing there, so that's not good, but we can maybe come back and respond here in the next game. No, we lost, and we haven't scored yet. Good. I like that. How's this team shutting us down? We're shutting them down, but we're getting shut down now. Yikes. Henrik still has no points. He's a minus 3 now. Jesus. Karpov says doing fine. Boyle needs more. Let's switch Boyle and Panarin and put Heinrich back up there just because, I mean, Fast did get two assists. You know what? No, keep him there. Yeah, Fast got two assists. Keep him there. We'll go Fast, Boyle, Couture, Henrik, Nash, Nason. Still only three points. Only two for you. Maybe try to load up the first line again since we're not. We, I like Boyle and Fast there a bit more. We don't need to help out that second line as much anymore, but I do feel like I need to help out the first. They need to score. He sure's only got four points. Panarin, yeah. Need more. Need more here. Well, we lost two games without scoring a goal. That's not good. One of them was an overtime, sure, but... I didn't even check who their goaltender was because I was just so perturbed by McDavid being scratched. He's got to be back now, right? Like, there's no fucking way. They just keep him out. Okay, yeah, he is back in. He must have been having some kind of injury. I don't know. They got Mason and Skinner. Trash goalies, but, I mean, so is ours, so. I shouldn't be surprised that we're getting shut out by it. <laughs> but hopefully, those mixing and matching will help us out a bit here. We've lost the first two games. It's never what you want to see, especially on home ice. Disappointed our fans, but now we got to go into Rodgers and take it to them. Okay, lost 3-1, to one, and we're probably going to lose this series. But what can you do? Okay, we win that. We prevent the sweep there. That's okay. We can start to inch our way back in. It was an overtime win, though. This team's got something. All right, game five. Come on, guys. Keep it up. Keep it up. One at a time. One at a time. One at a time. No, lost in overtime. Man, it was close, though. We just... Our offense disappeared. Our offense wasn't good this entire fucking series at all. Like, never did we get... We only got three goals per game once in regulation. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Too young. We're too young, I think. Our young guys disappeared like Austin Matthews. So we did lose in the uh, uh, in the second round there. And we lost in five. Not what I wanted. I wanted to get to six or seven. Like I said before, I wanted to make it competitive. But we put ourselves in an early hole. Our offense. Nothing was wrong with our defense. Absolutely nothing was wrong with our defense. They did incredible. One game, they were bad. Everything else, they did fine. One goal against. One goal against. No goals against. No, four goals against, sure. Two goals against, no, two goals against, one goal against in overtime, three goals against, maybe an empty netter, um, two goals against, two goal like, two goals against, one in overtime. They did fine. Our goaltending and defense were amazing. Our offense, on the other hand, maybe just too young, not ready. I don't know. But we can kind of maybe start to look at that and see where we went wrong here. Karpovsev did great first round. We just disappeared in that second round. For some reason, Edmonton had good defense. How's that for realism? Some bullshit right there, but hey. <laughs> Panarin, six. But yeah, not enough points from anyone. We did fine, and then we just couldn't score against that team. I don't know. He sure only had four points. Carlson only had three, minus eight. Subban only had three, minus seven. That turned out to not be so good. I don't know why. They should have been better. Maybe they're just too offensive-minded, both of them. But he's two-way, and he's got good defense. So, But I guess he's more of an offensive-minded player. Still worth it, though. Still worth the rental. I don't th again, I don't think I'm going to re-sign him. He's going to be way too expensive. And he's another righty. Don't need him. We got Carlson. Yeah, that was still kind of rough. I'm not putting this on the goaltender, though. Look at him. Look at what Grubauer did. Just look at what Grubauer did. He was great. Poor Warner had to go in there for a game. Got roasted. But look what Grubauer did. He played his fucking ass off. He deserves another extension. <laughs> Warner's not going to be ready for starter. I'm giving Grubauer another year or two. He's, look what he does in the playoffs for our team, man. And we just couldn't score for the guy. Those are insane stats. Absolutely insane stats. He elevated his game to new levels. And 
our team just couldn't couldn't rally around him. Couldn't get the goals when we needed him. That's a t- that's a rough one losing, especially losing in five like that. Like I said, I wanted to make it competitive six or seven, but wasn't meant to be there. But we still have plenty of assets, so using that value for a rental Subban still doesn't even put us in the hole. And we'll still be able to draft even more. We could just have a constant cycle of young guys coming in and being trade value for us if we need. <laughs> All right, so the draft is going to be in the next one. A disappointing second round exit. Only disappointing because of, uh, you know, how how we just kind of got handled by that team. <laughs> and I don't think they deserve to handle us like that, but hey, what can you do? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you thought about the trade. Give me some, any draft strategies you guys got. And, um, you know, if you th- saw something, I might've been able to do better, at least with the lines or something in the, uh, in the playoffs, let me know. But I, I couldn't really think of anything. Henrik didn't do anything. <laughs> I, I had to keep putting him back, man. All right. So let me know what you guys think. Remember to leave a like and I'll see you in the next one watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you be sure to go over there on twitter and shoot me a follow and you could even join our discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there the links to both are in the description